question a lot. Here's a story time on what led up to the divorce from my kid's dad and how I did a sneak meet up with the bitch he was cheating with. So a lot of you guys always ask me, why did me and my kid's dad get a divorce since we get along so well? Why couldn't we just work things out? So let me help you paint the picture before I tell you this story. I had been with this man since I was 15, 16 years old. Well over 18 years, we were legally married. We got five kids together. Like everything that you could think of, we've been through it together. And after this situation, it still took some growing, but ultimately like that's my people. That's my friend outside of everything. Everything we've been through, I know the one person that cares about me that I could call that got my back is him. Like, no matter what, if I call him, no matter what he's doing, he's going to drop everything at the drop of a dime and he's going to come and he's going to make sure that I'm good. It just didn't work out relationship wise. So how we stand now is there's no strings attached. That's really just my folks. But I'm going to get into what actually led up to the divorce. Okay, so he had been working at the refinery and everything going good he making good money and one thing about him he's always had a real strict schedule like he's just he's not one that hangs out none of that type of shit he works he comes home he's a family man everything else we do we do it together so anyhow you know over the course of him working there he comes home every day he's telling me about the people at work he's never mentioned any females working there at least in his section there are females that work there but they work like turnarounds and stuff in a whole different area so I had Booga November of 2017. So rewinding a little bit, when I was like maybe five, six months pregnant, one day we go to the water slides with, with our kids. And while we're there, we pass by this female and she's like, oh, hey. She was like, you finally got a day off? And it caught me. Like my antennas went up instantly because everybody knows their spouse. I could tell by his response. He kind of was like, oh, shit. Like it seemed like that. You get it? Then mind you, I'm peeping his response and he was like super dry with her, like basically brushed her off. He gave like a little head nod, but he like kept walking. That caught my eye too. So, and then also when she said, oh, hey, you finally got a day off, she called him by name. So when I, I instantly was like, who the fuck is that? He was like, man, I don't know one of them bitches up there. Some, and I'm like, no, no, no. She just called you by name. Like that's friendly. Who the fuck is that? And he, and mind you, I know she can hear me, but the bitch don't say nothing. So anyhow... He was like, man, she probably called me by name by hearing it from the loudspeaker. Ooh, everybody knows me up there. I'm like, yeah, okay. But I keep it in the back of my head. So that was the first red flag that just had, like, every, you know how you just got that women's intuition? It was one of those. It was like, nah, look into that a little bit more. So I play it like, I, I, I start looking into shit now. So that right there opened the door and it started my FBI PI shit. You already know, females, that's just what we do. Once our antennas are up, we're going to start digging. And if it's there, we're going to find it. Ain't no hiding. So anyhow, over the course of, I want to say maybe the next couple months or so, I'm starting to look into everything. I've never been one that like needed to check his phone or nothing because he never was sneaky with it. I've always had the code. It's always right there. Like it's just, like I said, he has a routine. So now I'm starting to go through the phone. Now I'm starting to just pay more and more attention. Now I'm starting to like, okay, I'm finna find out who this broad is. I'm gonna see where she work at because why would you lie and act like you don't work with no females? Like, why would you be hiding that? That's that's like basic to me. So I didn't, that it, it was just a red flag. So anyhow, he had this work group chat and it was like a bunch of co-workers in it with a boss or whatever and they would send their messages sometimes I, I didn't never care to go in it but after that situation I did okay wait and I forgot this part time had went on since then it had been months I had been looking I didn't find nothing it just it was nothing that you know was solid to me so I kind of like let shit go I had just gave birth and you know I was just enjoying my baby so one particular day um, I don't remember what holiday it was, but it was a holiday coming up and there was like a big turnaround in his job. Now, when there's a turnaround, it's like a big job. They bring in all these other people from different, you know, anybody that's on like the little list for the refinery work. And it's a lot of people on deck. So I'm like, uh, we got hella leftover gumbo. Like, you should sell gumbo place. Mind you, I know people who make bank like that. They they cook for the turnarounds and they sell their place, $20 a plate. They'll walk away with three bands in one night. That type shit. So I bring it to his attention and he like had every excuse on why we shouldn't sell these plates there. He like, oh no, nah, you know the 
So now my antennas are back up because it's like, hmm, something ain't right. Why would you turn down some money? So anyhow, I, now I want to say this is about January. I had Booga November of 2017. So this is like January 2018. So January 2018, he goes to sleep. I go through the phone. Back, like I said, I'm back on my bullshit. I'm, I'm back to my PI work because something ain't right. So anyhow, I go through the phone. He had a work group chat. And it was like a bunch of the co-workers and they form and they would text all the time, whatever the case may be. So I go through the group chat and I write down all the numbers that are not saved, right? I check the ones that are saved. It's nothing there. But when I start looking up the ones that are not saved, what you think I find? One of the numbers came back to a bitch. And what bitch was it? The same motherfucking bitch from that water slide. So now it's game time. Now I'm like, okay, okay. You got me fucked up because mind you, I questioned him numerous times about the, about that bitch. And I, I asked him specifically, do you like, do you deal with her? Like, what what's up with that? Because I just wasn't feeling that little friendly ass. Oh, hey, you can finally got it. Like, no, nah, hold on, bitch. So anyway, he started telling me like, yeah, she works up there, but she don't work in our area. She not a part of our crew. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, she wouldn't be in this group chat if she wasn't. So now I know you've been lying about that. So, anyway, I want to say I wake him up, like, fighting with him about it, right? I wake him up. No, did I wake him up? Because usually I sit on my information for a while. Anyhow, I can't remember exactly when or what I did, but I know when I finally was like, motherfucker, she's in this group chat. You acting like you don't have no dealings with this broad, da 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 and he's like, man, I'm not worried about that bitch. That bitch is like a tramp. Like, she's known up there for being a tramp. She she fuck with this person and that person, da 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 Hmm, you sure do know a lot about it. And one thing I've always been real firm on is when you start hearing a man down talk a random female real world bad, it's usually the opposite. I think men do that shit to try to throw us off or whatever the case may be, but it stuck with me. So that was another red flag. So I leave the house and when I leave, I leave on some mad shit. Just like, okay, I need to go clear my head, figure out how I want to play this. Do I want to pull up at his job, confront the bitch? He's not telling me shit. He's just denying everything. Now he's trying to play it like, oh, you're doing too much. Da, 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 da. I'm like, okay. So boom, I leave. I go clear my head. In the process of that, I start looking more into the bitch. Now I'm I, now I need to figure out where the bitch at, where she lay her head at, who her mama is. I find out that she does actively work there. She works in his department. He was lying, so I'm like, okay. Now when I come back, I do some shit to get all the information that I needed, and I ain't gonna say exactly what all I got, but I got some shit now. What I sit back and I play it like, way cool. Not cool to where he thinks I'm letting it go, but I stopped bringing it up because it was taking me weeks to get all of the information that I needed. And now, once I start getting that, now I got to put the pieces to the puzzle together. I'm lining up, looking at hours, any days that you claim you had overtime, the whole nine, right? So now we're in February. So in February, I was able, it was only one, it was twice actually, but it was one particular time where he texted me and he was like, hey, they're finishing up a job. It's going to be an extra 20 minutes, um, but I'll hit you as soon as I'm done when I'm on my way. I said, okay, cool. That was a lie. And I was able to put that together. He actually got off on time. So that extra 20 minutes, yeah, he was with that bitch. So, and I, oh bitches is trifling i'll tell you about that later but anyway boom so when i get that and it's solid i tell my daughter my daughter booga is now only what three months at this point yeah booga was three months so anyhow i tell my daughter call your dad and tell him i dropped booga on the floor now we lived in a big house with marble floors so you know i knew it would make him worried enough to where he had come like right away so she like well, what was going on I'm like don't worry about it just call him and tell him i dropped booga on the floor so she does it he comes home instantly. So as soon as he walks in, I'm sitting there calm as a motherfucker. Baby, I'm on the, on the bed sleep. And I said, how long you been fucking that bitch? And he just looked at me and baby, the look on his face, he knew something was up. He like, what? And I'm like, how long you been fucking that bitch? And I'm like, don't play with me. I already know everything that I need to know. I'm asking you to tell me the details and the truth because if you don't, it's going to be worse. He denies it as usual. So, so after about 10 minutes or so of him just flat out denying it, I was like, check this out, motherfucker. On this particular day, you texted me and said that they was finishing up a job a little bit late. It was going to be 20 minutes. 
but your badge got you leaving that gate right on time. And then from there, I got your location showing that you went from there to the park right down the street from your job, which is like less than five minutes away, and you sat there for 18 minutes. Motherfucker, you wasn't there feeding the motherfucking duck, so what the fuck was you doing? Now, mind you, I'm like, in the process of this, I'm like, you trifling ass motherfuckers, because both of y'all work at that dirty ass refinery. Like I said, we not, we grown. We know you wasn't there feeding the motherfucking duck, so you nasty motherfuckers was at that park doing something. Trifling. So anyway, He's like, now, when I start saying, your badge got you leaving at this time, it shows your location, you went from this, now he's starting to look worried. Now he's starting to do, man, it's not what you think, like, you know, I want to tell you the truth, but you be really tripping, but I swear to God, it's not like that, whoop, 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 and, and I'm like, you know how I am. I'm coming to you for the truth, but I'm going to take it 50 steps further. I'm coming to you first. So that way you could just be a man and tell me what it is before I go up there and tear that motherfucker up to get the truth and embarrass everybody. So just tell me. He's still denying it. So now he starts like trying to lightweight cover his tracks by saying, okay, look, you know what I'm saying? Like she she do work there. We cool. Woo, woo, woo. But I swear to God, I didn't do nothing. I ain't never did nothing with her. Like she had asked me for a ride. That was all I needed to hear right there, baby. That was that that right there. Because you're lying. You, you're lying now. You're trying to cover it up. So now he goes right back to like speaking down on her. Like now it's real tough. Now it's like, I swear to God, like look at her. Like you you know damn well I wouldn't fuck on her. She a bum ass bitch. Like she hella fucking ugly. Like like that bitch trash. She fucked on so-and-so and so-and-so. And, -so and it ain't like that. You know, we just cool. And, and I couldn't tell you the truth on that. Because I knew you was going to trip and think some other shit. And... Nah, motherfucker. So I'm like, okay. So in the process of this now, now it's like I'm getting ready to tear it up and you know it. And so he calls off work the next day. I think he calls off for the next few days, right? In the process, I'm still telling him, I'm giving you the opportunity to tell me the truth before I figure it all out. So by this point, she was actually at another refinery. And like I said, because some of them refinery workers, they bounce around to different locations if they're not permanent at that site. So on one particular day, I text from his phone. And I, you, you know how you can throw something out there and it can be interpreted in many different ways? That's what I did. I hit her and I said, hey, I need you. Now, mind you, if we just cool, you're going to be like, what's up? Her response told me all I needed to know. She responded with the what boy and the roll in the eyes. <laughs> I said, oh, okay. So I'm like, no, for real, I really need you. I'm like, my car broke down. I, I made up something. I'm like, I need $1,500 da, 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 um, so I can get back to work. And she was like, um, oh, I ain't got it. I said, I could give it right back to you. I'm like, I'm getting some money. Uh, I think I said taxes or something. But I was like, I'm, I could give it right back. I'm like, just let me hold it. And she was like, I can let you hold a little bit. So now I'm in my text messages. And he's been trying to talk to me. And I've been real quiet, real distant. I'm just working on my plan. So anyway, I finally tell him. I said, let's ride and let's talk. I, you, he knew I didn't want to talk in front of the kids. I didn't even really want them to know what was going on. So when we hop in the car, right? I said, get on the freeway. He said, where are we going? I said, to go meet your bitch. And his response, like his whole body language, everything just changed. And I said, I'm telling you now, if you let another bitch tell me anything, it's going to be worse. I said, so you might as well tell me everything now. Because once I get to her, if you let another bitch tell me anything that you haven't already told me, it's up. And he was just like, man, why is you doing this? Some, some, some. I said, and I'm about to get some money out the bitch and you're going to help me. He's like, I could just tell, like his, like I said, his whole body language just changed. But he ain't said he still get on the freeway. So whatever the case may be, I tell him where to go. I tell the bitch, meet me in the Walmart park. So I keep his phone so that way he can't blow my plan. And again, the whole time I'm telling him, tell me whatever I need to hear now. If I hear it from her, I swear to God, it's going to be a problem. So anyway, I text her. She think it's him still. I text her. I said, let me know when you close. We get to the parking lot ahead of time. I had him back into this one spot that had these big cement pillar things in the back. So I said, text me when you close. She texts. She said, I'm five minutes away. I said, keep these doors unlocked. When she pulls up, tell her to hop in this car. So I get out. Boom. I, I get behind the cement pillar thing. I hear her pull up. He says, hop in. Oh, mind you, I told him 
she's she thinks she's bringing you some money so anyway she when he says get in the car i hear her get out i hear her get in my car as soon as she gets in our car I, as soon as i hear the door shut i come from behind the cement pillar thing and i hop right in the back seat i said so what's up you always meet married men and give them money so needless to say she goes into this little long story about how it's not like that she like one of the fellas and she understands like you know people other people wives have tripped before but she don't fuck around whoop, 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 all this bullshit right so finally she it gets awkward she like okay so like is that it and i'm like yeah that's it you could go so i could tell he kind of like loosen up so when she gets out she goes around the front i come around to pass her i like bump her on the way i'm like like i, I just feel like she wasn't being a honey like you get what i'm saying and to me it just seemed like she just bitched up i'm looking for a problem i'm i'm telling her everything that this man done said hoping that she'll get frustrated enough and tell me whatever it is but when she stick to it i kind of think like okay well you know maybe it's not like that but bitch you still need to know we don't do that friendship so when we hop in the car to leave his whole demeanor changes he's see i told you you be tripping da -da 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 -da. motherfucker 30 minutes ago you was just nervous probably shitting motherfucking bricks on the way here right so now when he starts saying i told you it wasn't nothing it's just you just be tripping hella much so we talking the whole way home right and i'm like man listen i'm telling you now i'm not putting up with no bullshit like it's too far in the game i'm not putting up with no bullshit i was like but we gonna see like we gonna see so when we get in front of our house before we go in he like can we just make up like i promise i'm not gonna lie to you no more about nothing like you just gotta really start understanding shit sometimes you be unreasonable he trying to flip the whole shit right but something in my motherfucking gut just wouldn't like i couldn't let it go like i just felt like I wasn't the one tripping so I keep his phone because I know if it is something she gonna hit that phone eventually so the next day comes around and show sure enough this bitch texts at 11 31 lunch is at 11 30 at 11 31 a big long paragraph text come through now mind you like i said she was at another refinery at this point so she didn't even know that he wasn't at work so the bitch thought she was being slick but anyway she texts and she's like um i told you i didn't want to be involved in no drama don't have me caught up in that shit da, 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 da. she was like and as far as that money she was like um i'm gonna go ahead and chalk that and we can take it out of all the times that you paid for my lunch M motherfucker you gave her money i take off on it i broke my nail anyhow so i'm i'm on fire like now is i'm like whoa so anyways he responds to her he's like check this out that's my wife at the end of the day da, 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 whatever so it starts being like an exchange now mind you i stay 10 steps ahead so i had already got her dude's number the whole night the dude worked there also and he was a foreman so i call him so when i talk to him i bring him up to speed on everything i tell him all of the events how she thought she was meeting up with him to give him money but i got the money the whole nine so he instantly was like oh that don't surprise me he was like two months after bumping her he was like i already had the bitch um getting my name tattooed on her and he was like and she be giving me all her money da 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 da, da the whole night i'm like this a bitch but he like yeah he like so that don't surprise me he said and another thing that suspect he said when she knew i was coming to that site he was like, she told me about a dude up there that be trying to get at her, but she didn't make it seem like she was, you know, involved in it in any kind of way. He like, so that was funny. He said, but hold on, let me call her. So sure enough, whatever he called and said to her, about 10 minutes later, she calls his phone. She calls my husband's phone. So when she calls his phone, she turns up to the max. But mind you, I told him, I said, and you can let her know now I want to see her. Like, I'm going to handle whatever I handle with him. But I gave her the opportunity to tell me whatever she had to tell me. Whatever she had to tell me, she, she should have told me at that moment instead of being fake about it. But since she did, like, now I want to see you about something. So anyhow, when she calls, she like, I didn't fuck him, but I could have. Da -da 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 -da. She, she just laying it all out. Now she talking crazy. I'm like, okay, it's like, it's cool because I'm going to see you. Eventually, I'm going to see you. But choose a weak ass bitch because you should have said all of that instead of making up that fake ass story. But nonetheless, now now my kid's dad is turned up with her. Bitch, don't you ever disrespect her. Nah, motherfucker, I don't want to hear from you either because you shouldn't have put me in this situation. I told you don't let a bitch tell me nothing. You should have been the one to tell me whatever needed to be said. So whatever the case may be, 
Fast forward, I filed for divorce. I pull up at that job. I'm trying to see her about something. You can't get in the refinery gates. It's it's all type of shit. He talking about he going to slap the taste out of her mouth. Just all type of shit. All type of drama transpired. I, wait, I skipped the part. Okay, so after all of the drama that day, her calling the whole nine, like I told him, I gave you the opportunity to tell me you didn't. Now it's all of this bullshit. So now I leave. I'm like, I just like, I, I need to go collect my thoughts and figure out what I want to do now. I definitely want to fight. I ended up stabbing him. It just, it was a big old, big old drama. It was drama, right? So, boom. I leave. I go to Vegas. I stay at my partner house for like, I don't know, a week or two. Maybe two weeks. So, when I come back, now it's March. I come back. I file for divorce. And when I bring him the papers, he like, you know, like, like, why? Like, and I was like, because I really meant what I said. Like, I told you don't let nobody else tell me nothing you should have been man enough to tell me whatever it was and if you really didn't do anything with her then we probably could have worked on it like we could have got counseling or whatever but you didn't so the court date they gave was in september why they gave a court date so far out i don't know um i filed for divorce in march they gave me a court date in september i told him if you're gonna save this marriage you better figure out how but i know i told you what i told you and that's just what it is so now i'm starting to plan for whatever i needs to take place I, i'm still living here we're still i'm still doing all of my regular mom shit. i didn't want my kids to know what was going on and i told him if it can be fixed you gotta figure it out i don't know but i know i'm not dealing with this so you know if something spectacular happens and we're able to fix it then by all means we'll see I don't bring it up no more now when i'm starting to just you know don't just think about shit i'm just like nah like i think i'm just done so now i'm just preparing for when that time comes i know i need to move we need to separate bank accounts the whole nine like everything i'm just putting it in place so i want to say right around may june i didn't see the changes that i felt you know could be done you could have signed us up for marriage counseling anything i wasn't gonna hold your hand or tell you what could be done to fix it but i definitely was paying attention and i didn't see what i felt i needed to see so with that being said i just started planning my exit and september comes and like i said i think because i was real calm i didn't bring it up no more and i kind of just went on with life he must have got it in his head that I kind of like, you know, was going to let it go or whatnot. So September comes. I'll never forget the day I woke him up and I was like, hey, you're going to be late. And he was like, my like, huh? Like for what? And I said, court. And he was like, man, stop playing. Like get in the bed. I said, nah, I was serious. And I went to court and I got that divorce. And that's how it ended. Okay, wait a minute. Let's get into this comment. Because you said, so you didn't have any real proof? If you watch part one, part two, and part three, what more proof did I need? I had common sense. That's what I had. One plus one equals two. Like I said in part two, them motherfuckers wasn't at the park feeding motherfucking ducks or catching fucking butterflies. And furthermore, the way I felt about it is when I started to look into the bitch and I started like, you know, doing my shit, I started realizing I am not about to be arguing with no bitch that is in her 30s, got three kids, three baby daddies, and you're living at home with your mama and you don't even have a room there. You sleep on the couch. I just, I didn't feel like it was worth me even entertaining the situation no more. Like, no, that's completely out. I'm not about to be going back. I shouldn't even have to be worried about you creeping with no bitch like that. So it, it, it was the common sense for me. That's the proof that I had. And and I'm not even the type of bitch that feels like, oh, I'm up here and other bitches be down here. I, I don't move like that. But when you know your worth and when you 18 years into a relationship with five kids and you married to this person and they do that with somebody like that. Yeah, sometimes you just have to remove yourself from the equation. So I'm not about to be living in no doubt. I shouldn't have to go through all of this. I did that just to figure things out. And then that was it for me. And yeah, I was done. Done. That's the proof. That's all the proof real quick y'all my story time sparked some real good conversations if you haven't watched it go watch part one part two part three but i want to say this all relationship problems start at home first no matter what the situation is you caught your man cheating whatever trust me that problem started at home first so it's always best to address those issues so that way it doesn't lead to something that you really can't fix everybody's not built to withstand you know cheating and affairs and all that bullshit so 
if you truly want to stick it out with your partner, make sure that you address those issues as soon as you see them coming. Because like I said, it can lead to shit that can't be fixed sometimes. Is it wrong to confront the other woman if you catch your man cheating? We're definitely going to debate about this one. So I had a couple of y'all in y'all feelings when I told you that I confronted the other woman after I caught my ex-husband cheating. But let's break this down. So there are a couple things that I agree with. No, the other woman does not owe you any loyalty, nor is she the one that took the vows to you. However, about my respect, I'm going to be the one that comes for you. And if you happen to be a woman that deals with a man that you know is fully in a relationship, I mean, it's like, it's not like he lied to you and deceived you and you were just misled, but you are aware that this man is in a relationship. Yeah, go on and accept any problem that comes with that when that woman finds out about it. Now do not get it twisted. Under no circumstance am I saying that it's not his fault and it's her fault. Under, not at all. I'm going to come for him harder than I'm coming for her because he is the one that took the vows to me. But like I said, if you are a female that knows that a man is in a relationship and you don't have a problem partaking in the bullshit with him, then be a part of the bullshit when it blows the fuck up. People be quick to say, oh, you ain't got no right saying nothing to her. You shouldn't confront her. You shouldn't do this. You shouldn't do that. Well, then she shouldn't have put herself in the middle of the motherfucking fire. Because if I'm blowing up about a situation that has anything to do with me and mine, and you're a part of it, I'm coming for you. And that's just what comes when you are dealing with a man in a relationship, period, point blank. So I don't know what makes y'all think that, oh, the other woman should just be off limits and it's just his fault. It's both of their faults. It's mostly his fault because he opened that door and he allowed the bullshit to happen. But she's going to feel it too because that's what comes with dealing with somebody in a relationship, period. So y'all, I want to know y'all thoughts on this. Drop in the comments and let me know what you think about this X-Files exposed story and how she met up with her husband, Cy P, which eventually led to divorce. Drop in the comments and let me know how you would have handled this situation and if you want to join the discussion meet us tonight at 10 30 p.m for the crossover episode of the x-files exposed meets wellness waves wednesday join the discussion and let's talk about it do me a favor hit that like and subscribe button consider joining the champagne gang fierce fam become a confidant hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when we jump into whichever sector we jump into for another show until next time always remember if it doesn't cause you to elevate it's causing you to appreciate now raise those glasses clink and let's drink till we meet again tonight at 10 30 p.m central see you soon